This is the third video in the optical instruments series. The learning objectives of uh, this video lesson is we will learn about telescope in which there are two types which is refracting type and reflecting type. Refracting type telescope first we shall see and also angular magnification by the refracting type. And the third one is Cassegrain telescope which is reflecting type telescope. Fine. Astronomical telescopes are used to view distant objects such as planets in our solar system. A telescope basically has an uh, objective and eyepiece as we have uh, in compound microscope. But here the objective has a large focal length and much larger aperture than eyepiece. Right? So light from the distant objects such as uh, moon enters the first objective and then forms a real image here at the focus of the first objective lens. And uh, if uh, the arrangement is such uh, the uh, image, the first image at the focus of the second lens, the image, the final image is formed at infinity when we look uh, through the combination of two lenses from the eyepiece, you can see the image at in formed at infinity through the telescope. So the distant objects such as moon and uh, planets can be seen with the help of this uh, combination. When we talk about the magnification produced by it, the magnification is the ratio between the two angles. The two angles are here denoted by alpha and beta. So here beta is the uh, angle subtended at the eye by the final image. So angle subtended at the eye by the final image, that means this is the eye and final image is somewhere here. So angle subtended will be at here. So let us just denote this with the letter beta angle subtended at the eye by the final image right and alpha is the angle subtended by the object at the objective by the object here somewhere the object if this is the objective so this is the angle subtended by the object at the objective so obviously this is also becomes alpha right now uh, the derivation of this uh, magnification of telescope is very simple we will take uh, beta and alpha uh, now let us take for small angles beta and alpha are uh, equal to tan beta and tan alpha. Alright, now let us go back to the ray diagram uh, to find out tan beta. So tan beta is opposite side by adjacent side. This opposite side here, here both are equal. So let us take this as H and this side is focal length of the eyepiece Fe. Right from here to here Fe. So here you can take uh, this is the focus of the eyepiece and this is the focal length of the eyepiece, right? So opposite side is height of the object and adjacent side is a focal length of the eyepiece. You can write H by Fe. Now alpha is equal to opposite side again H and adjacent side is focal length. You can see here uh, as the uh, image is formed at focus that is fo by h because i have uh, taken into reciprocal because it is divided by tan alpha right now h h gets cancelled now the total magnification produced is equal to fo by fe whereas fo is a focal length of the objective and fe is the focal length of the eyepiece and it is also very clear from the given equation f boy fo by fe that objective must have more focal length in order to have magnified image so here length of the telescope is uh, given as the distance between the two lenses so it is very clear the distance from here to here and here to here are fo and fe right so the length of the telescope is uh, given as or length of the tube is given as the sum of focal lengths of the objective and eyepiece fo and fe denoted by the letter l all right Now let us see two example problems basing on the telescope. We are given three lenses of power 0 0.5, 4 and 10 diopters to design a telescope. Which lenses should be used as objective and eyepiece justify your answer. Right. So among the three lenses let us see the first we know objective of the telescope is of high focal length and high aperture compared to the focal length of eyepiece. So when there is more focal length, it should have less uh, power because focal length is what reciprocal of power of the lens. So power of the lens is high that is 10 diopters, focal length must be very low. 
so which is uh, which is the lens that has less focal length that is eyepiece so eyepiece we will select 10 diopters lens for eyepiece because more power less focal length now in the similar way less power more focal length so power of the least uh, lens is 0.5 diopters so focal length is high because the power is least focal length will be maximum so the one which is used for uh, objective must have more focal length so we will select 0.5 diopters power as objective fine now let us see the second question the sum of focal lengths of two lenses of refracting telescope is 105 centimeters now the focal length of one lens is 20 times that of the other determine the total magnification in normal adjustment is the question so they have given us the sum of the focal lengths the two lenses we know one is objective one is ip so fo and fe is given to us as 105 centimeters if uh, length of the tube is given the answer will be same 105 only because length is sum of focal lengths now focal length of one lens is 20 times greater than the other which has more focal length objective right so they have given objective has more focal length 20 times more uh, focal length than that of the eyepiece indirectly so i am substituting that value here in the above equation 20 fe plus fe becomes 105 right so it it comes out to be 21 fe it is equal to 105 whereas fe is equal to 105 by 21 so 21 fives clearly so focal length of eyepiece is 5 centimeters if focal length is 5 centimeters of eyepiece then focal length of objective as per the given question 20 into fe 20 into 5 so it becomes 100 centimeters so two objectives objective of uh, focal length is 100 and the eyepiece has 5 centimeters now determine the total magnification in normal adjustment normal adjustment means image forms at infinity so magnification formula is fo by fe ratio between focal lengths of objective and eyepiece so just divide uh, 100 by 5 you will get the answer very simple 100 by 5 centimeters i am not writing because anyways they get cancelled so magnification is 20 times so magnification of the telescope is 20 times let's see the disadvantages of using refracting telescope the first disadvantage is its size a large research telescope that is used to study very distant objects such as stars must have a very great diameter to gather as much light as possible it is very difficult and expensive to manufacture large lenses for refracting telescope and another difficulty with the large lenses is that their weight leads to sagging which is an additional source of aberration the largest refracting telescope is seen in the diagram that is at uh, Erks Observatory in the US. It has the largest objective lens of diameter 40 inch that means almost 1.02 meter. Besides as we use large size of uh, lenses they may undergo some aberrations called chromatic aberrations or spherical aberrations. All these uh, things can be rectified by using modern telescopes which use a concave mirror rather than a lens for the objective. The telescopes with mirror as objectives are called reflecting telescope. They have several advantages. Number one, there is no chromatic aberration in a mirror. Number two, if a parabolic reflecting surface is chosen, the spherical aberration is also removed. Now let us learn about one of the important types of telescope that is Cassegrain telescope which is named after Ca the invented Cassegrain. This telescope uses a convex mirror as you can see in the diagram. It is as a secondary mirror to focus the incident light which now passes through a hole in the objective primary mirror. So the primary mirror you can see there objective mirror is written over there which has a hole at the center. So this is a Cassegrain telescope. Now the advantage of Cassegrain telescope is having large focal length in a short telescope. The largest reflecting telescope in the world are the pair of Keck telescopes in Hawaii, USA with a reflector of 10 meter in diameter. These are the world's largest reflecting telescope. 
Thank you for watching.